Welcome to the big show. <sighs> Here we are. I've Hi. watched many of uh, Chris Perkins' videos, Matt Mercer um, oh my. tips tips and tricks, and uh, another was Matt. There, was their first tip and trick that don't expect it to be anything like the way we do it? <laughs> that should be how those guys yeah. start off. Yeah. The first tip and trick is, when in doubt, make it up. All right, I got my camera on for roll 20. Okay. Oh. <gasps> USB. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome everybody to our first uh, official roll 20 campaign. Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. Roll Tide. Roll oh, is that? Tide. Roll That's 20. It. Yeah, it's like roll tide. I we're not expecting me to have a camera on, are we? No, just no oh, okay, expect good. zero expectations. Okay. That's the best kind of expectations. Okay, yes. when they're at level zero. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There are none. Oh. Sort of a epilogue or a little uh, season uh, pilot. Pilot episode. Yes. Before some other narrations. Yes. Uh, two monks. Walk into a park. Walk into two two monks, a warrior, and a house cat are hired and commissioned to ride a barge. Just to refresh everybody here. This is the Sword Coast. This is where most of our Dungeons and Dragons adventures take place. Up here, near the top, you'll notice a town called Waters Deep, which may be familiar. And then if you follow the coast south, you will see uh, somewhere down here, down south, is Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter. Hey, Father's Gate. I'm familiar with that. I know him. Are, are you <sighs> clicking on them, those things? As you... Uh, oh, Baldur's Gate. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. There's Baldur's Gate. I can't, uh -huh. can't remember where Neverwinter is, but it's in the south. And Water's Deep is up here. I don't know how these guys do that. There you go. We have been commissioned, you have been commissioned, to take a, a, a barge of uh, artifacts, monsters, wondrous, wonderful, wondrous things, fantastical things. Ooh, wonderful, wondrous things. From Waters Deep to, uh, down to Baldur's Gate. And the barge, as it tra traverses along the south here, kind of sometimes is close to the shore. You can see it, and sometimes it's out a little out further in the deep. Okay. Um, as you guys are uh, one day out in the uh, deeper part where you don't see anything around you, probably out here-ish, you, uh, okay, you're... You what up, Sro? And the captain comes along, and he says, "All right, I've had you guys on this boat yeah, for that's a fortnight. My, that's my my birthday. Tell me more. Tell me who you are. Welcome. What you're doing? I'm Bingo Bob. Where you come from? Oh what your deal is? I'm sorry. Say that again. Who am I talking to? You want me to tell you? Oh, we should talk to each other. Jerome 1978. Sorry, right. ale, I'll drink it. Yes, you've had lots of ale, but I'll give you more. Yes. No, if there's ale, I'm drinking it all. Okay. Um, but but I'm I'm not opposed to sharing, you know. I will I will give to those who need it. Um no matter what the no matter what the personal cost. If if they need ale, I will get it for them. Hmm. I'm really excited to be here, Captain. I'm really excited. I've never been out here on the water before. Very exciting. 
Yep. <clears throat> Splash. Splash. Uh, uh, my name's my name's Gosbert, as you know from the contract. Um, I am a mighty warrior from the the hills, um, to the east. We, where did we start? Waterdeep. Started at Waterdeep. Yep, up north. Yeah, out out east. I, I hurl over the edge of the. I throw up. <laughs> out east, sick. there's a little bit of a dale where my people, the Green Hills, come. The Green Hills come from. Out in the field afar. Um, I, I am their bravest and most powerful warrior, and I thought it would be really great. To come out here and experience life, uh, and help other people with it. I've done my own people for so long. I'm here to just help others, and you seemed like someone in need and also willing to pay me, um, which seemed really exciting. So, you know, I have a lot of experience in slaying monsters, um, in fighting off bandits, and, you know, other strange creatures that attack the flocks and eat our crops. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. I've never been on a ship before. Aren't you a little uh, tall for a halfling? Oh, oh uh, yes, I'm actually very, very tall, very big for my age. And, um, yeah, I'm I'm quite large. That's why I am the mighty warrior from uh, Field of Fall. I was just sizing you up. I was going to be like, yes. he's about two inches taller. Than oh, I'm glad you noticed. That's any gross. other halfling I've ever seen. I'm so happy you noticed. That is something I'm most proud of, is um, my stature um, being, yeah, a good inch or two taller than almost any halfling I've ever met. Wow. Yes, I'm, I'm quite powerful. That's, that's why they have me go and protect, protect the fields um, and protect the village in general. But I felt like I had kind of outgrown that, having done it for a, you know, a long time. Um, Need yep. to go out and see the world and see if I can take my skills and expertise to others. You're like a giant or a giant ling. So, are there do yes, halflings yes. have their own giants called giantlings? No, we call them humans oh, usually. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm a um, giantling. You're you're much like a giantling. We you would just be a human, um, which oh. I've not I've seen from afar before. Um, but this has been really. Waterdeep was very overwhelming, I have to say. Um, Waterdeep was extremely overwhelming. Lots of people, lots of strange... I thought some were monsters. Um, had some awkward experiences there. Um, not everything that's large and scaly or green is a monster, it turns out. Food for thought for the rest of you. Mm, um, food. So I'm kind of glad to be here where there's fewer people. Less things to, to learn all at once. Um, but my goodness, the ocean is large. Okay. It's really big. Yeah. It's, I just love it. Well, it's nice hanging out with you, Gosbert. This will be fun. I'm Zangief. Hi, Captain. I'm Zangief. I, uh, I'm a little wrestler. Did a lot of street fighting back in, back in the homeland. In the motherland. And, and uh, I just... You know, I figured I just wanted to get out from there and see what the rest of the world's like. Um, this is cool. Yeah. Let's. Never been on a boat before, but uh, hey, I'll haul barrels around all you need. You just give me the word, and I will barrel haul. So, did you guys just meet on the on the boat? I throw. That's, that's a really good question. I think we, we sort of were thrown together really haphazardly um, on our way over here to the boat. We ran into some some trouble, and we kind of napped together, but we didn't really know each other. Wait, did that really happen? I don't know. Was it a dream? Maybe we all had a shared uh, dream. Dim, did that really happen? Do I have, like, this pocket lightning storm? Oh, yeah, that happened. That happened? Oh, okay. All right. That was in the uh, that was in orientation for a company, for the trading company, and that's really where you guys met during uh, HR HR orientation day. HR. Oh, and, and you all you passed it with fly, flying colors, so we thought you'd do well together to keep this boat protected and safe. From that was our, that 
that was orientation. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Yeah, you were unconscious for a I little bit. I can still feel it. There. Um, Jibo? I don't know what your character's name is because you haven't changed it. Eingar. Eingar. Okay. Eingar. Oh, I have to change my name under my... Okay, I see. I the, see yeah, click on the gear icon yep. and change that. Can do. Um, I imagine we... It, the trust fall was my favorite part of orientation. <laughs> I, I didn't care for it much. Uh, the captain leans in. The receiving side. And asks, do you guys have any idea the cargo that you are... Protect, protecting the ship from protecting. Um, should I? Should I like? Uh, not I'm yet, but if you really want me to, I can just go around shaking the boxes like it's Christmas morning. Maybe you peek in there. Do you not know what it is? You want me to open some? I mean, we can find out. I could, I could open some of the crates for you. Um, and we can see what's in them. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Or you could just tell... I mean, if if you think they're just valuable, that's good enough for me. I'll protect anything you say is valuable. Were we supposed to job. look at the cargo? Are we let's just, are inspectors uh, as well? Let's just say it's very valuable and potentially very dangerous. Volatile. 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 Okay. Like, boom. Uh, in the middle of uh, this rather serene, quiet night... Um, Do any of them ha have a label on that says like, not uh, nit nitrate, <laughs> or <Do> like? Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Zach, okay. okay. What? I'm really showing you something. Uh, we interrupt this program. Uh, Brindley's. Um, Did you make cucumbers? cucumbers? I this out of my garden. Oh, really? Well, wow. Can you? <laughs> Don't see my fries? <laughs> uh, okay. She grew vegetables! Yay! Woo! Woo! So imagine uh, this... You guys are having a very quiet night. You, you've been drinking. You've been talking. You've been laughing. You you dis you dared each other to go down and see what there was, but eventually decided against it. It's dark down took there. The took the captain's word for the fact that it was serious and potentially uh, over our heads, even. And right in the moon, the moonlight, a lar the ship, it almost feels like the ship hits something like a rock. The ship lunges forward with a big crash. You guys go falling onto the floor. And... Iceberg! The ship is beginning to sink. <gasps> Are there any doors? I take the doors off the hinges. Okay. You can roll a dexterity check to see if you can take the doors off the hinges. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I probably need my character sheet open. Um... Captain? Yes. Uh, I think the water is rising. You are, in fact, uh, correct. That would be a very low DC on that uh, perception check. What, what happens? Well, there are two lifeboats uh, attached to the side of the boat that is not yet underwater. Zengi rolls a 14 on dexterity and absolutely is able to just heave the a door the doors off in, the door off of the tavern in a single in a single whack. Okay. Wait, the tavern? Every ship's got a tavern. Every ship has a galley, a tavern. That's what it is. We're in the tavern of the ship. Yeah. We're in a big ship. You're in a big bark, yeah. Um I'm gonna take my pants off. And I'm going to tie the ends where the feet come out into really tight knots and tie them together. We're going to die. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to drape that around my neck. <laughs> okay. We're all dead already. Um, <laughs> the, captain, the captain's instruction is to abandon ship. What about the cargo, 
Captain. But the cargo? The cargo. What about the cargo? It, um, if you would, if you, do you know what's in any of the boxes? Like, could you say, like, if you had the opportunity to save one piece of cargo, would you know which box it is in? There is one only box that I know of uh, is below water at this point. I thought you guys knew. I thought you guys knew uh, what was down there. Well, we oh, meant. I know close to nothing. Yeah, you you know I did take a peek. Hmm. Um. I... The ship is sinking. The ship is uh, to the point where it's only the bow hanging out. And, and I would there. like to attempt to uh, go to where the the hole that goes down into the bowels of the ship is, and I probably have to swim down and just look for a crate, and I'll just pick one crate. And I'll just use my gut feelings to um, pick a crate that okay. I think is really valuable and try and get it out of there. Okay. I'm going you... to scramble into one of the lifeboats. Okay, Zangief needs to roll an athletics check, for which he uh, he, he, does, he is proficient at. I can athletic. <laughs> this... There you go. I'm oh, this is very this is very difficult. Oh. I'm athleting. What did you roll? Well, I just rolled a nine. Okay. So as as the very tip of the ship begins to sink under the water. It's sinking real fast. We hit something big. Yep. The the other two are climbing into lifeboats that are floating. There are two lifeboats. One lifeboat is full of the sailors and the captain. The other lifeboat has uh, Ingar and Gilsbert already. Zangief takes a huge deep and breath and dives down. He dives down, 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 into the dark. Uh, Gilsbert and Ingar start to look at each other like, uh, seems like he's down there quite a while. And he uh, comes up with nothing. I I couldn't. The sh it sunk really fast. I couldn't get anything. It was really dark. <laughs> so whatever whatever was in there is now in Davy Jones' locker. Oh well. Now cool. as the as the boat is sinking, you're you're getting closer to to an island called Shipwreck Isle, and which has a history of this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wait, maybe. You Maybe this was not the route to <laughs> take. And so. as you, the the main point here is that you didn't know what the crash was, but now you do. And as you look around in the water, you see uh, about fifty uh, zombies, undead zombies, dead drowned sailors. They're called. And the drowned sailors. Um, are from sailors that have passed through here before and died. Thanks. All right. Um, hey, those look like um, zombies. I bet that they're sailors that have crashed here. Um, I don't. Are they swimming towards us? Are they swimming towards our boat? Are they like. Are they motion? Uh, are they moving? The zombies are preoccupied with the sinking ship, and you guys are rolling as you guys are rolling as fast okay. as you can towards shipwreck. Um, and make sure I've climbed in out of the water, and, and we have mittens too. Mittens jumped on our boat. Um, and can't forget the cat. Yeah, let's. I'd say we paddle really hard. Uh, I grab a paddle and start pa pa make paddling. I'm I'm putting my hand in the water and just splashing it in a direction of the boat like some direction thinking that's going to move us forward i love it i love it okay. like i can't reach my hand over the sides very far but i am i can like touch the water somewhat and i'm just like trying to move the water awesome okay you guys see the handout that's up right now the eye stock yes. image yes Shipwreck Isle? Oh, yes. Uh, image. Yes. That's yeah. 
Lovely. Well, it's got you huge know, cliffs. I've seen this beach on the internet before. Your journey was very eventful. The <laughs> island now visible off the bow promises rare wonders. Seaweed shimmers in the count countless brilliant colors below you, and rays of sunlight defy the overcast sky to illuminate the lush grass and dark basalt rock of the island. Avoiding the rocks jutting up from the ocean, your lifeboats make their way toward a calm harbor in the island's north side. A large open-air temple comes into view, and perched on the edge of the cliff, high above you, a ship drops anchor. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Uh, reading is hard. A large open-air right. temple comes into view, perched on the edge of a cliff above you. A ship drops anchor, lifeboats drop anchor at the mouth of the harbor, and two sailors row you to shore, and um, you have plenty of time to stand there and just admire this amazing statue and stuff that's above. There's a um, temple. Look at that. Wow. I would like to roll a history check mm -hmm. to determine if I recognize um, the statue as being okay. historically significant or anything I recognize. All right, roll that. I, I want to roll a religion check for something similar of like the temple and the statue, what it might represent. Okay. I... Okay. I'd uh, roll the 17. Well, how about you, uh, Ingar? Can you roll a religion check or a history can. check? Can. Yeah. Uh, I can. All right. Well, um, Zangief rolled pretty high on this check, and I think we're going to go ahead and let you know what this island is all about right now. All right. The statue is at the center of the temple, and it's depicting a wise man surrounded by seven songbirds. A long path winds up the side of the cliff to the temple and are dotted, dotted along the way with doorways cut into the rock. The sailors set you ashore on a rickety dock with a large rowboat. Is neatly, the large rowboat is neatly tied to the point of the base of the path. They wish you good luck before they take off. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so there you are. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of lore okay. here. If I, this is all, I'm going to paraphrase this. Okay. Stormwreck Isle. Is it related this to is, Shipwreck Isle? This is Stormwreck Isle. It's related to Shipwreck Isle. In fact, Shipwreck Isle is the old name. You know, like Istanbul and Constantinople? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this it's is actually renamed. Shipwreck Isle, formerly, formerly known as whatever I previously said. <clears throat> All right, so anciently, along this uh, part of the world, um, dragons, there were two, two groups of dragons that did not get along. They fought like the jets and the sharks. One group of dragons was the uh, metallic dragons, and the other group of dragons are the chromatic dragons. So a metallic dragon would be like a golden dragon or a bronze dragon, a silver dragon. Those are metallic dragons. And a chromatic dragon or like would be like a... Iron Maiden? That Iron kind of Maiden metal? Dragon. Yeah. Yes, heavy metal. Okay. The chromatic dragons would be like what? Red dragon, blue dragon, yellow Sparkly. dragon. Sparkly. Yeah. Anciently it's it's known historically and religiously, of course, that these dragons did not get along and the chromatic dragons were good. And the, uh, sorry, the metallic dragons were good. The metallic dragons were good and the chromatic dragons were bad. There was a red dragon that would go up and down the coast and just terrorize villages and murder people. And one day, three chromatic dragons fought the red dragon and entombed him under the sea. His name was Sharuth. Sharuth! I should... Sharuth the red dragon. I should write now, it down. <clears throat> on a sticky note. Yeah. Stormwreck Isle was not an isle prior to this happening. The the infected earth, you know, from Sharuth under the, the water has created this island. So the island is full of weird things and weird mysteries. Um, still, 
uh, over the last several hundred years, dragons have died and fought here. And oddly enough, like, dragon bones just stay on the ground. Like, they die and then the dragon bones never decay. They just stay there. They stick around. And you are now on Stormwreck Isle. Well, you're on the beach. Okay, so looking up drop. at the statue, I recall this whole story and I go, guys, I know what island this is. This is, and I recount the, the, the dragons and the history and everything you said so that everyone knows. Yes. So you know and you tell everybody. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so here you are. On. Well, that's He's fun. Sure. Um, and there. So, well, this is cool. We lost our stuff. I wonder. I have an idea. What if we look for? We try to get a hands on a couple cool artifacts, so that we're not completely empty-handed, and so that even though we lost all the goods, we can find maybe some new goods. And when we go to our destination. Um, they're not completely pissed off at us for losing everything. Maybe we have something cool. So, yeah, so what you're saying is, like, this job's gone south. Yeah. Uh, as you come to shore here, there are uh, three zombies, uh, undrowned. What do I do with... What do I do with all the things on the screen now? I <laughs> think you can close them. You can Are close they open them back up later if we you can, need to reference you the map. You can pop all of them out. And they should be actually in your journal under handouts. Okay. Player there should oh, be player. I see play them. Okay. Yeah, player okay. handouts. So you should have them. Okay. Oh, nice. As you come ashore here, you see two zombies. Oh, whoa, well, we're we're in a place. Do you guys all see the correct map? Does anybody know why the sailors decided to leave us? I think they were gonna go... ...probably figure out what to do next. Why well, are they gonna come back with another ship? Uh, uh, probably. The captain was with them, right? I bet the uh... captain would totally be into this. I bet his priority is the cargo. Once they figure that situation out, he might come back for us. Come back and, like, I don't want to live here. And if he comes back, let's make him so proud of what we've accomplished. Uh, uh, don't worry, okay. Gosbert. <laughs> All right, then. They're there, and like, I, I just sort of pat your head, like, it's going to be okay. Uh, well, hey, look. I don't want to live here. I don't. I do not want to live on an island. Oh. I'm not suited for an island. We won't be here long. I'm sure of it. We've got a boat. We can... But look. Fine. Two new I friends have showed zombie. up. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> look, two, two friends the, have arrived. I fire at the southern zombie. <laughs> well, let's roll for initiative. I... That's my surprise. Okay. What do you want, what do you want to do here? Because these zombies are aggressive. No, I attack. I shoot at a zombie. Okay. We roll initiative? We will now... Hold on. Start over. Hold on. I gotta clear this. Clear. Okay. okay. Roll, roll for initiative. How do you roll so high? Me? Yes. I have a high initiative. Hold on. Just you have a high, in. like, dexterity or something? Yes. That is crazy high. Yes. Wow. What is he rolling? I rolled a 23. I mean, I don't know what my base number was for that. Will this tell me? Oh, I don't know. Well, you're getting... The, I rolled the a decimals. 19 on it. Oh, you rolled a 19? So. Uh, if you rolled a natural 19 and then you added your stuff. Yeah. Oh, do you have, like, a bonus? I don't have any bonuses. Yeah. It's like 4.19 bonus to initiative. Why? All right, Zangief, what would you like to do here? Um, I'm very excited to meet our new, our welcome party. Um, so I'm going Shadow. to go. Motherboard has power. Hang on. Hard drive has power. Incoming ad break. I will snooze this ad break. 
I'm gonna okay. come up here. That should be um, along the beach. Maybe I'll just come on the far side of this guy. Right. And um, I'll just say, this is a really cool island you got here. I'm excited to get to know you. And I punch him. Oh, you punch him. Like that. Okay. Well, that definitely hits. So you take a punch at the zombie and uh, its bones aren't held together very well and they rattle. Roll a 20, and, and it's a 5 damage. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty wild. I compliment him on his sustaining ability. Like, wow, that was a good hit, too. And you took it like a champ. <sighs> oh, battery low. That's not great. There we go. Very excellent, very excellent shot. This zombie has uh, still got two feet under him, but he's missing several ribs and uh, and whatnot. Nice. Is that? Is that oh, the end of your turn? you know what I should do? I'm gonna use my other fist. I forgot I can hit oh. twice. You forgot you had two fists. Mm. <laughs> Why does it say two plus two for my damage? I don't get that, but okay. Did you crit? Did you crit? Oh, I did the crit. Right side. So <laughs> if it was with, that's four damage. I rolled it. Yeah, that is four. I crit and um. I think didn't I crit? I don't no, know. the left side's not a crit. I don't really understand. The left side was an eighteen. I don't understand how to read this this thing because it's confusing. Oh, I rolled an 18 and did two damage. Yeah. I see. And then if I if we take advantage, I if got a crit. Had cr had it, yeah. Then I get the two yep. plus two. Oh. Uh, okay. So did you do two damage or four damage? I did two damage. And if he's going to die, we have a situation on our hands because it's my he first didn't... killing blow of the day. Yes. Okay, he didn't die on that blow. Okay. He's still there. But he's he is ogling you. Okay. Because you look tasty, and although he eats brains, he, he understands that this may be a small meal. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Are... I'm done. Um, let's see if I can see what's happening. Um, screen's all over the place. Close that. Koreans all over the place. Yeah, I think that's okay. what he said. I'm gonna move next to here. I don't know how well you can hear me, but yes, yeah, we, can. we hear you very well. Okay, I'm gonna do this to the zombie. A spear, two handed, 23. Holy cow, that also hits the zombie, doing nine damage. Turn your value in the box or enter my Okay, minus nine. Oh my gosh. Okay, this zombie is not looking good. You guys probably can't see their health bars, right? No. no. Okay, okay, then I'm going to unarm punch it, unarm strike as my monk thing. Mm. For that. So is that, uh, do you have any more strikings to do? Is that, nope, is that a bonus it. action? All right. How would you yeah, like to do it? Bonus how, action. What that like bonus action it? uses your offhand. Your spear is two-handed. But my spear, because it's not a, it doesn't have a two-handed. Was oh, it versatile? A. Yeah, it's versatile. Okay. So I hit with a two-hand, which counts as a monk weapon, and then I can use it at, and then I can use my unarmed strike. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay. How would you like to finish that guy off? But it'd still be a Just bonus action, Amy. right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. You already have two attacks. Yeah. I'm a monk. I think uh, Zangief has two attacks too. Is that right? Oh. Yeah. It's a. It's an action and a bonus action. Yeah. The bonus action. 
um, is less likely to hit, I think. Mm. Or, or it does a much less damage with your offhand attacks. Unless you're proficient with it, like an unarmed strike, which is what I think Jacob's situation. Yep. I do the unarmed business. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's what I do. Now in my turn. Um, yeah, punch okay. Sorry, I've got so many things going happening. Uh, I look at Zangief and, like, say, this is what should have happened. And I punch him in the head and his head goes flying. Oh! Uh, his head. He needed Excellent. that. Well, okay. <laughs> nice that, knowing yeah. you. I'm a light. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. How do I get rid of that? There's a way to get rid of that. All right. So actually, it goes to Ghostbird's turn. Ghostbird. Yes. Because the zombie that you killed was next in the order. Uh, yes. I attack this southern zombie. I fire my crossbow at him. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Does the southern zombie have a southern accent? What? I don't Ooh. know. You fire a crossbow. This zombie wasn't looking. For some reason, this zombie was staring off up the hill, hoping to get reinforcements, and your crossbow hits him right in the back of the neck and hits for five damage. There we go. Excellent work. Excellent work. Um, is that, is that your, is that, are you going to move or are you stay there? Oh, I'm staying over here, but that's all of my, that's all of my attacks. Okay. This zombie moves towards Ingar and takes a slam. Uh, let's see here. Ingar has eight and this did 19. So, um, this zombie rears back with two hands and just slaps slaps uh, Ingar and just... What do you roll? Sorry, I'm back now. What happened? I'm getting hit by something? Yeah, the zombie uh, came up behind you and rolled a 19 okay. and does, Oof, six, yep. t does six bludgeoning damage. Oof, that feels familiar. This feels just like the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> the, the orientation. Orientation day. Orientation, that's right. Okay, and it's back to Zangief. Oh, that's me. <clears throat> what, there's, well, there's another one behind you, Ingar. I will come on down By here. the way. Um, right next to this new, this other zombie here. And um, I will use my, even though this says main fist, it's actually my main foot. Oh. So don't be confused. And I just sort of, I'm kicking it right in the ribs. I rolled a 14. Oh, 14 does it. So you kick him in the ribs. I where do five damage. Yeah, they don't have a lot of guts. And so your 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 foot, which is large, yeah. gets stuck right under his xiphoid process. Oh, yeah. And, okay, I'm and used to that. The zombie falls on the ground, supine. But you do do five damage, and your foot is still inside of its gotcha. uh, chest, ca chest cavity. Understood. I would like to use my bonus there. action. Um, I don't know. To try. <laughs> now I'm, I'm essentially grappled by him. Um, <clears throat> and bingo, yeah, you Fox, your uncle. Thanks. Joyce underscore 545. Um, I think it takes an action to try to break a grapple and not a bonus action. So I don't think I can do anything now. Um, I'll have to wait till my next turn to try to escape. Okay. I'm looking for grapple here, but... Um, we'll say you're scared. <clears throat> okay. I know scared is probably much worse. <laughs> I'm scared okay, that my foot's stuck. We're down. We're back to Ingar, 
who is in a bit of a daze because he just had the blonde hair slapped right off of his head. He is Ooh. he is feeling sick. Yeah, I am. Go for it. So the zombie's right behind me. Is that what mm -hmm. happened? Oh, there goes my computer. Awesome. Your oh, name disappeared, Jibo. Your name disappeared from the world. <laughs> you got <Yep>. disconnected? <laughs> you have been no, deleted. It's, it's dead. It's what? Well, now would be a great time to start um, an ad. Why don't we just take a little ad break? Because Twitch keeps saying that. So let's take Ooh. about 60 seconds Wait. or so. Wait. Take... So what do you want Discord on? Your phone? My phone. While you try to repair your computer or something? It sounds I'm like you're rebuilding. building a computer while you're on it. <laughs> I was confused sure. myself. Is that accurate <laughs> assessment of what I feel like I was hearing? I am building a form factor computer so that I can fly with it on a plane to bring it to Utah. A form factor, like a micro form factor, or just... Uh, it's like the size of an Xbox. Okay. But like a, like a mini. In it. Like a oh, mini or a micro, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. micro, okay. micro ITX. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I just finished it, so... You just... With any uh, luck. But, but your computer, your current computer, also died. Well... Because I had to take the processor out of it. Wait. And the GPU. What have you been... <laughs> Welcome back from the My ad Surface break. Pro. Oh, you're Surface on... Pro. Is Surface Pro disconnected? Unrelated to the to what he's doing. It just okay. Yeah. My Surface Pro died because it was on battery. Oh, oh the yeah. power. You just, just the power died. Yes, yes. And welcome Sorry. back from ad break. <clears throat> so if you look around are... the walls near you, do we have you might find things no, that I have tried to find my them? power cable, and I don't see my power cable. You rolled really low on your investigation check to find oh. your power supply? <laughs> yes. What yep. did you... So now... Did you, did you use guidance or something? Is there somebody... I didn't have anybody cast, around to cast I, guidance. Are you getting? Are you coming back, Chibo? Yes, I am plugging it back in to see if it'll start up. Oh, okay. Why don't okay. you just talk us through it, and I can roll for you. You found a power out. All right, so I'm gonna hit with a uh, with my two-handed spear. It's a one d8 damage. Uh, so it's a d20 plus six to hit. Okay. Oh, then... you critted. <laughs> It's a 1d8 you for the damage, it. so I guess it's 2d8. Well, you um, killed that zombie. You, this zombie has died twice. Oh, there's <laughs> one of the kids. <laughs> That's 16 the damage. Zombie, zombies have a little something called... I breathe. Oh, I um, it's like reanimate or something like that. Yeah, they do. They really do. Oh, they come like, back to one hit point. Right. Yes. I found one of the cables I was looking for. I think that by right angle sat SATA. Why can't I bring up any of these? Too late for that now. For some reason I can't bring up. Uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> Please give me some lights. Uh, so, thank you, everyone who's been following. Sorry, I didn't really say anything, huh? Serum and Joyce. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed some some of this. Thanks for the follow. Oh, we're back. Sweet. Now, you guys didn't realize it, but coming up behind you... Don't I get some sort of like? Don't we get like a check of some kind? Okay. <laughs> like like some sort of perception. Oh yeah. Okay. You, you mean before this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. as that thing shows up, shouldn't there be some kind of perception check of like whether we noticed it or not? What we should do is I should leave it right here and then say, 
Um, let let uh, the warrior make a perception check now that these two zombies are dead. Let the warrior. I think that's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> that's a seven. So, <laughs> so to you, everything seems hunky dory. Okay. Oh, good job, for that fellas. Whew, that was that was touch and go there for a minute. Yeah. You guys handled it remarkably well. Yes. Uh, does anybody else want to try a roll a perception check? I've I've attempted it. Is that how this works? I rolled a ten. So is it is it my turn? Um. Well, uh, what would happen is. Are we still in combat? Using a better character sheet, we would have what's called a passive perception. Yeah. Oh, right. Like, there's and, one at the bottom. And you would just tell us if we happen to have noticed this thing, because we're not actively looking for things. Oh, it is at the bottom. My there's passive one. perception's 11. Oh, yeah. So you got to decide how sneaky it was. Okay. Uh, so... Gosbert is a little bit like, hey, all right, we did it. And he's sort of congratulating everybody. And Zangief and Zimbabwe, or sorry, uh, Zangief and Ingar, I uh, go, uh, they're, they're looking behind you, and their eyes are getting wider and wider. And because uh, they see an, another, the last. Am I, am I like slowly walking towards them, giving high fives? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, good job, Zangief. Good, good one, little man. Hey. High five. Um, Wait, why don't you, you uh, why don't you stand behind me? Um, I thought I was. Zombies were over there. Um, I'm standing behind you over here. I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna um. Step over me. Step over you. Because because I have the ability to just pass through your si size creature. Yes. <laughs> um, it probably works in the reverse. You step through oh. me. I. It worked kind of the same way. We can pass through the same square. Okay. <laughs> I'm that sure Hackley Nibbleness works the same way as when the other person is doing the moving. <laughs> What happens next? Power back in. Are we still waiting on Jibo? I don't know what we're doing. Or Jibo's turn's ended. Are we still in combat? I still, I still have a turn order. Yeah, we're in combat. Okay. Got lights. So would it still be my chance? Well, it says Ingar right now. So. Well, right. So I'm trying to assess what's the situation, DM. Are we in um, combat still? We're still going in combat order. Did Ingar finish his turn? I still have an turn? unarmed strike. I can do if there is something to punch. There's nothing close enough to you. Okay, so it goes, to, it goes to Goldsburg Greenhill. So I walked over here. I was doing some high-fiving. Um, for some reason, Zangief wanted to go back and check something on the boat. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I moved a little ways already. I have another, like, 10 feet I can go. And I was like, hey, you did a good job, too, Inga. High five. Hey. Uh, high five. Yeah, that's awesome. I think. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to check and see if this body's got anything on it. All right. I don't know. Do I see whatever is happening? So I start looting um, this zombie. Okay. They can't possibly have anything, right? I mean, yeah, these zombies. zombies these zombies are just bones and rags and not much on them, but they're all like there's a lot of sludge. I don't I don't think we need I don't think that's useful. You're doing a lot of talking in this six seconds. Yeah, I think my turn's <laughs> over. So I still Sorry, don't I'm trying to nothing going on. I'm trying to fix something here. Okay. So, all right, we go to um, Zangief. All right, I had um, been walking this direction. I'm probably, I'm no longer grappled, so you can remove that icon from my token. Okay. 
And let's see. I was over here. Let's just double check to make sure I can move this far. I can move this far. So no problem there. 20, 25. Yeah, 25. And I see this new zombie approach us. And I'm going to give him a little bit of a... I'm going to start with my Love other that, fist maybe. first. It's just sort of like a little baby dab at him. There we go. I roll a 21 and do two oh, damage boy. to it. Yes, you do. Then I follow through with my main fist. And I really mean it this time. I roll a 22. Oh, man. And do six damage. All right, so this uh, this zombie has been kind of sort of pushed back toward the edge of the dock, and he's just sort of like rolling down the the windows. He's he's like whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> have you ever seen a zombie do that? I have never, <laughs> but now I have. I'm gonna tell my children about it. <laughs> As would I. Okay. So now it's the zombie's turn, and this is the problem I've been trying to fix for the last minute here. Why is this happening to me? Sorry, I lost the zombie char character sheet. These things happen. Mm-hmm. There he is. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. There we go. Okay. Uh, and my power cable. Oh, another I, one pops up. I probably hear him fighting behind me. Oh, okay. Or... Do I see it so I can tell? Okay. This zombie uh, gains its Luda bearings. Make baggins. Zombie gains its bearings and and comes up and puts his slam right on Zangief and Zangief is uh. He's he's quite... uh five feet away from me. Yeah. Just curious. There we go. I'll yeah. be back in a sec. It, he barely gets you, but okay. it does. Um, it only oh, does I... four. It only does four damage. Okay. That's fair. And, and with that, um... nice slam. Oh gosh. All right. Good form, oh, baby. That's okay, what I'm so talking now, about, zombie number C. Zombie C. Sorry, this is really messed up. Okay, we're back to Gosbert. We're back to Gosbert? Okay. Now you can determine, you probably do hear us fighting, though. I'm sure I'm hearing some fighting. Yeah, at this point you would and, know. They're, um, they're not stealthing anymore. Probably more like a... Oh! Um, and I fire my, let's see, you guys seem to be doing really well. I fire my crossbow at this guy as well. Okay. Why, why are you guys rolling so high? Yeah. My, do you, did, did you forget my perception check? <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so seven damage to this guy. Okay, so this guy is... Alright, this guy is gonna be minus... Ooh! Alright. So you get the sense that, uh, this zombie is also on his way out, but as he, as he stumbles around, you notice his boots. Those are some nice boots. No, he's not barefoot like the other zombies, or bare-boned, as I should say. But he, uh, this guy has some boots on. <laughs> and Ing that brings up Ingar, who is still with us. I think in spirit. Maybe. He's here in spirit. Mike, check. Oh, he, he means oh there he is. Here. There he is, there he is. New computer. <laughs> It's everything's working. 
Oh, you got it back together? I, you I, built the computer midstream and is now on Discord on his new computer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That oh was my. impressive. That's pretty good. Put it on the job apps. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hot. Is it hot in here or just me? I believe it's your turn, Ingar. Oh, okay. Um. Go here get I him. Am. Once again. Oh, you've ah. logged into the game. Nice. Hold on. How far? Can I move that far? I can't, because I got 30 mm. feet. Go yeah. help Zangief. Boop. And then I I'm supposed to double click to open character D. Pop it. It's all double click. And then I give him a hi ya! Ooh. Mm. That's, That's the role cool. Matt's been working looking for. There we go. We were, That's the yeah. role the DM's been hoping for. Oddly, <laughs> enough, <laughs> oddly enough. This uh these zombies AC is eight. So oh my gosh, uh, eight. <laughs> these are level one level one uh, monsters. Yeah. yeah. So That's right. This zombie um basically what it, you gave her a haya? And a second oh. haya. And then and he, a hi second haya. So uh, the zombie is uh rolling her, down sorry. the windows again and falls over the dock, but uh, as it falls, splashes into the dock, its feet are, its feet are still perched up there. Oh, good. I was going to say, I was about <laughs> to dive in after them boots. Its feet are, like, perched on the dock, and it's, like, down in the water. Okay. So, wow. Uh, this, this zombie. I want to do a quick look around to see if there's any more zombies sneaking up on us. Yeah, okay. me too. Before I go looting. All right, both of you roll a perception check. Okay. Okay. This ghost bird is really perceptive. Wait, I tried, it's it's I tried to persuasion. persuasion. Hang on. Not persuasion. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna persuasion. Perception Whoa, as well. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm really making sure nothing's gonna sneak up behind me because that scared me. I wrote some perception as well. Actually, I'm unscarable. So it didn't okay. scare me. Because you just don't you not you just don't get it. Okay. No, well, I don't. Try, you look around, You can't get scared if you don't get it. Well, no, I'm naturally brave. Naturally brave. Yeah. Which is different than being naturally ignorant. Right. I'm brave. <laughs> I'm just yeah, not I mean, the most observant. There are folk songs about you. Yes. I mean, they're regional. They're regional folk songs. They're not. You wouldn't have heard of them here in Waterdeep, but. Oh, wait, well, wait, I wait. I'm. I've got some famous friends where I come from. Okay. All right. Well, as you um, is it all are there any chicken? other zombies? Where you come from? Resolve yes. our rolls. You look around for more zombies, and you don't see anything. Okay, I go after had, the boots. You had a great roll. Okay, I loot the other zombie, the uh, southern okay. zombie. The summer zo southern zombie has one gold actually, just jingling around in its mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Updated. One gold in its mouth. The other one had uh, boots, pretty sturdy boots. Um, they, they look like they're probably worth about five gold. All right. But they're not better than the boots. They're not better than uh, wrestling boots. Right. Of course. I'm going to just um, stash these, uh, I'll call them zombie boots. Yeah. Uh, that's probably pretty rare, actually. Um, I, bet, I bet they'd sell for a lot if I let people know. These were ones worn by a zombie. Yeah. Okay. Now okay, I've added that zombie. Boot. You guys are amazing. Five gold. That you was have fantastic. just. Hey, strong work. You take a moment and congratulate each other and lick lick your wounds Ooh. and uh, take a survey to see if anyone needs CPR. Um, so, In Ingar, I lick your wounds, and then you lick mine. Deal? Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I don't... Is that a cultural thing? I, of... The, a voice inside my head suggested that that's the best uh, mm. thing to do at the moment. The spirit. Every now and then, this voice enters my mind, and I cannot do anything other than what it suggests. Damn it, Dutchie. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's not oh, even voice. Dutchie this time. It's the DM. Oh. I'm pretty sure he said to lick so, each other's wounds. Um. So you you lick each other's wounds and um. I'm not. I don't really comfortable. I mean, I've known them for a little while. I'm not gonna be part of the the licking. It's okay. You didn't on. get wounded at all, so you don't get to lick us. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. But you guys were amazing. Thanks. Oh my um, goodness, when you kicked that one, when oh, when the head that went flying, you guys are spectacular. I'm, I'm really glad I buddied up with you two. Yeah, you know. You guys are great. I want to really stick with you guys. I re really appreciate your support. We're going to do great things. I like to have you on board. That way I can see stuff that are that's on the bottom shelf of pantries. Oh yeah, uh, there's that short joke. Well, I mean, short joke. If you can't get well, the stuff on top, I can't see the stuff on bottom. It's my like... rude. Oh, rude. I reach my head into a pouch at my side. Uh oh. <laughs> Pull out crackling. Ch I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> crackling thunder. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> you take 3d8. <laughs> Perfect. I am dead. Just kidding. Like twice my max yeah. HP. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. You'll know Should we um, sit here I'll for? I'll be very conservative with the magic. What if we just sit here for about an hour? Hey, you hey. guys. Hey, maybe rest up from that. Like a little bit of a short just, rest. Yeah, just a little bit of time. You guys okay. just rest up a little bit. You know, I'll I'll keep watching, just kind of walk back and forth here and make sure we're okay. Are you able to uh, roll attack dice? There you go. Who my was that? Die. That was my hit die. Hit die to regain health. Yeah. So you get eight back. I get seven Ma back. So back to your max. Wait, how? Where yep. did it tell you what your hit dice is? It's right underneath it. your temporary hit points. It's got is... total one. How many I have left? Oh, so if I just one. click on that. How come yours had a plus one though? Yeah, you got what plus you one mean? on your hit dice. You got Why? seven plus one. I don't know. I got all one. my health back. Constitution. You have a, you have a high constitution. constitution. Yeah, I kinda. Yeah. I have a plus one to my constitution. So. Oh, and Zangief must have a plus two to his constitution. I'm back to full. I just rolled mine to see what it would do different than yours. To try to figure so, out what it was. So, what is full? Can you change your own, Jacob? Yep. Or, uh, okay. I can't change my... Oh. Oh, I've just put it in that little circle up here. Yeah, you can just put it in the green circle and it'll change it. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Excellent work. Excellent work, gentlemen. Beautiful. Now, uh, ten, mi ten minute warning. This is okay. the ten minute yeah. warning. This that's just perfect, actually. Before I have to deal with some children and. So as you uh, finish off the drowned sailors, uh, you notice this uh, rather uh, adultish kobold uh, meandering down the path. What's that? Uh, oh, she speaks a, to you in, the, in what sounds like the Queen's English. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you for coming ashore, and thank you so much for helping us with these drowned sailors that have been running amok. We can't get any supplies in here. Everything that goes by gets sunken, and it's just been a terrible, terrible mess. Oh. The, but I've heard you chatting on about what you've come here for, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to... What is this place called? Shipwreck Isle? Wreck. <laughs> Some kind Storm of wreck. Wreck. Storm wreck Isle. Oh. Uh, if if you please follow me. Wrecked. If you please follow me up this path, I'll take you to Dragon's Rest. I wish to make an insight check to see if I should trust this person. Okay. <laughs> well. Wow. You make an insight check. And, oh, yeah. uh, you think, you think, uh, you, you know, she, oh, yeah. because she's I'm so well-spoken, you think that you can trust her. Hmm. Radio, lead the way! My, uh... Okay. I'm into it, ma'am. I'm saying Geef, by the way. What is your oh, name? Geef! My name is, uh, Myla, and I am the, uh, caretaker of Dragon's Rest, which where I'll be taking you to, up there to meet the rest of our inhabitants. And to meet our uh, noble lady, and uh, that's where uh, you can stay until you get rescued or until you you've had enough of this island. 
Well, yeah, okay. our captain will be back to get us soon. Um, we probably have a little while we can stay. Uh, thanks for your hospitality. Excellent, okay. And, uh, with that, we will go to Dragon's Rest. Yay! Now, when you arrive at Dragon's Le Rest, you immediately... Oops, that's not the right layer. You immediately notice oh. the other inhabitants, which all happen to be. This has really got a good view of the ocean. I love it. was a wonderful, wonderful inhabitants. A wonderful city here. Uh, it's these are the rest of our these cobalt see you guys, and because they don't get a lot of visitors, they uh, are just so excited, and they start asking you questions like. <gasps> Where are you guys from? What are you doing here? Where are you? How, how, how many kids do you have? Where, do you have a family? Where? And they just. I don't have any kids. My name's Zagif. I'm a professional wrestler. I bet you'd be great to wrestle with. Hey, can I th can I wrestle four of you at a time? That'd be great. Let's have fun. Do you have a, a wrestling pit? I don't trust any of this. I want to make. I'm into it. I love it. They're my new best friends. Uh, you can roll can make for it insight. It. Yeah, you can roll for insight. Insight. No. 16. So uh, you get the feeling that this is a family, uh, a large family of cobalts who are all just descendants of dragons. And this is, uh, you know, formed by dragons, a place where dragons frequent. What oh, color so are they? They're red. Uh, here, I'll show you what they look like. It actually makes uh, perfect sense to you. Yes. Because, so can um, I ask them about... Sharuth? Oh, Sharuth. Oh, Sharuth, Sharuth. A hush. A hush comes over the crowd. And, uh... From the back, you, you notice another not cobalt, but a, a woman, an older woman, in a shimmering golden sort of gown coming down the stairs. A uh, not cobalt. At the mention, at the mention of Sharuth. Okay. And I will bring her to the front. And as Runar uh, begins to see whatever it is you're. Okay, hold on. Uh... If you're showing pictures. Oh, you don't see. Runar? I do not. I don't see anything. See pictures. Okay, let me let me check what you see here. <laughs> Mm. You see sort of uh, shadows? I see that we're on the bank of the like a cliffside ocean. And there's four kobolds over here. Yes. Okay. So let me turn off this really quick. Mm -hmm. What do you see now? More kobolds, I think. More yeah, kobolds. And a token that says Runara. Runara is the is the gold is the lady coming down the stairs. Oh, okay. A hush a hush falls as the cobalts go to the side and Runara comes down to greet you and say thank you for attacking the, the drowned sailors. Uh, she basically says the same thing that um, Maya did, and she says you're welcome to stay here. She says there is a there's a path up here that leads to a cafeteria up top. And the temple is up top in A5 with a star. You'll see that. And you're welcome to stay here. Uh, you can come and go from here as you please. Does she hand and, us like um, a little, like a zoo map? You know how you get, when you go to the zoo, they give you a map that has like pictures of elephants and stuff. <laughs> oh, is it yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. And like, so we know exactly where everything is. She opens her golden vest and pulls out a, a yeah, sort of a, a, a tourist map. You know, the a tourist, tourist map. map. How much does she guys. open her golden vest? Uh, just enough to pull the... Oh, no, uh, just barely. Okay. She's an older lady, and she's really wrinkly, but she tells you as you're walking... She says, follow me. She asks you to follow her, and as you're walking back up these stairs, she begins to tell you that she is the caretaker of uh, Stormwreck Isle, and um, she has sworn a life of peace, and she's 
she uh, is anti-violence, and her whole thing here is about um, peaceful living and and oh, make, making sure there's no violence. But what about just wrestling for fun, though? Yes, uh, it says in the good book, as you know, that as the, uh, book says. as the good book says, you're not to wrestle your neighbor. But oh. we're not neighbors. We're not neighbors, so we, we may be able to figure out a room where you can have some wrestlings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can't go a day without some wrestlings. Okay, and with that, the evening falls, and uh, you guys find somewhere to uh, to bat down for the night. And that is the end of our first session. Yay! Good job, Matt. Nice. Yay! That you really great. done it. That was really fun. It's great. It's a little, uh, it's a little, uh... <laughs> The first one is the roughest. Yeah, well, there's the improv going on, and then there's the management going on. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then there's, like, do I don't remember the story. I gotta go back and read what happens here. <laughs> yep. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs>